In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on March 4th, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Detroit Red Wings vs. Tampa Bay Lightning The Detroit Red Wings will be going for their second consecutive win when they face the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight. Tampa Bay is 6-2-2 in its last 10 games against Detroit. Detroit is 5-5 in their last 10 games. Tampa Bay has been playing at a higher rate, going 7-2-1 in their last 10 games. Tampa fell 5-1 to, to Pittsburgh on Thursday night. On the season, the Tampa Bay Lightning have a per-game scoring differential of 0.69. When playing at home, the team is winning games by an average margin of 0.62 goals. Heading into this game, the Tampa Bay Lightning are the winners of each of their last five games. During this stretch, they have scored 23 goals, accounting for 64% of the scoring in these contests. A key to this recent success is the fact that they have outscored their usual output of 3.46 goals per game four times. The Lightning have won six of their last seven games and six of their last seven home games. They are playing well offensively, scoring at least three goals in five straight games. The Red Wings have lost three of their last five games and they struggled during the stretch, giving up 27 goals in their last five games so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Lightning. Tampa Bay has also played well defensively during their streak, giving up 12 goals in their last five home games. They also play well on special teams and they're 14th in the league when it comes to killing penalties. They are facing a Detroit team that scored 15 goals in their last six road games and won't have trouble keeping their offense in check. Tampa Bay Lightning to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Red Wings are averaging 2.91 goals per game and 2.58 goals per game on the road. They average 2.67 goals per game in their last three games against the Lightning. With Tampa Bay giving up 2.73 goals per game, the Red Wings will hit their average in this game. The Lightning are averaging 3.46 goals per game and 3.25 goals per game at home. They average three goals per game in their last three games against the Red Wings. With Detroit giving up 3.57 goals per game, the Lightning won't score score enough goals to push the score over the total. The Red Wings and Lightning played under the total in two of their last three meetings. Detroit comes into this game having seen the over post a 30 to 23 to 1 mark in their games in regard to the total this season. The Red Wings have seen an average total of 6.48 goals per game this season with their number on the road coming in just below that number as we've seen an average of 6.38 goals a night in those outings. Tampa Bay has seen the over go 27 to 21 to 1 in their 49 games this season. The Lightning have have posted an average total of 6.19 goals per game this season. That number drops down to 5.62 goals per contest when they are the home team on the season. With that said, Detroit has gone over the number in eight of their last 10 games, allowing an average of 4.5 goals per game in that stretch. Tampa Bay went into Thursday with four overs in their last five games. Still, with Tampa Bay a bit fatigued and Detroit sputtering on the road, this one ends up falling just short of the total. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Wild vs. Buffalo Sabres The Minnesota Wild will go on the road and take on the Buffalo Sabres at Key Bank Center. Minnesota has a record of 32-17-3. Buffalo has a record of 17-30-8. These two teams have faced each other once this season with Buffalo winning the game. Defense and goaltending have been terrible for the Sabres. They rank 27th in goals against per game and 30th in shots against per game. This does not bode well against a very good Wild offense. Minnesota has scored three goals or more in seven out out of their last 10 games and they rank third in goals per game. Kiro Kaprizov leads the Wild with 65 points and he is top 10 in the league in points and assists. Minnesota is the much better overall team here, so the Minnesota Wild money line is our full game side pick. In Minnesota's 51 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 29 to 17 to 1. So far, the team has been less likely to go over the betting line when playing on the road 
going just 12 to 13 to 1 on the season. 65% of Minnesota's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 55% of the scoring coming from the Wild. In Buffalo's 55 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 26 to 25. So far, taking the over when the Sabres are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 14 to 12. On the season, 55% of Buffalo's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 45% of the scoring coming from the Sabres. The Wild have a great offense and both forward units look to step up and find the back of the net throughout the game against two struggling defenses. The Sabres should find the back of the net throughout the game against a Wild defense that is allowing 3.12 goals per game with Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating quick shots on the net. The Wild, who are scoring 3.67 goals per game, should run up the score with Kiro Kaprizov of Ryan Hartman, Marcus Foligno, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the odd man rush and establishing a strong offensive zone presence to pick apart a Sabres defense that has allowed 29 goals in the last seven games with great puck movement near the net. Buffalo has been performing well on offense lately. They scored three goals or more in seven out of the last 10 games. The Sabres have received poor goaltending. They rank 27th in goals against per game. Minnesota has scored three goals or more in seven out of their last 10 games, and they rank third in goals per game. Kiro Kaprizov leads the Wild with 65 points, and he is top 10 in the league in points and assists. Buffalo will not be able to stop Minnesota's high-power defense. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Kings vs. Columbus Blue Jackets The Los Angeles Kings face the Columbus Blue Jackets with both teams playing well and looking to make a push for the playoffs. The Kings have won 29 of their 55 games including 7 of their last 10 games while the Blue Jackets have won 28 of their 54 games while also winning 7 of their last 10 games. The Kings are looking to remain near the top of the Pacific Division while the Blue Jackets hope to continue to make up ground in the Metropolitan Division and the upcoming game should be a great one as a result. Defense and goaltending are a huge advantage for the Kings in this game. They rank 12th in goals against per game and 1st in shots against per game. Defense and goaltending have been terrible for the Jackets. The team ranks 31st in goals against per game and last shots against per game. Los Angeles is playing very well lately, winning 7 out of their last 10 games and their offense has been hot scoring three goals or more in eight out of the last 10 games. In Los Angeles's 55 games, they have an above .500 record against the spread, going 30 to 20. So far, the Kings have been a good bet on the road as they have covered in 17 of their 24 road games. On the season, the Los Angeles Kings have a per game scoring differential of 0.09. Even when playing on the road, the team is winning games by an average margin of 0.11 goals. Heading into their game with the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Kings have a 3-2 record over their past five contests. In these games, they have scored 15 goals, accounting for 48% of the overall scoring. A key to this recent success is the fact that they have outscored their usual output of 2.91 goals per game four times. Look for the Kings to have a big night scoring and a win over one of the worst defensive teams. So the Los Angeles Kings money line is our full game side pick. The Blue Jackets have one of the best offenses in the game and both forward units look to step up and find the back of the net throughout the game. The Kings should create plenty of scoring chances against a Blue Jackets defense that is allowing 3.61 goals per game with Adrian Kemp, Philip Dowd, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great centering passes. The Blue Jackets, who have scored 14 goals in their last five games, should run up the score against the Kings with Boone Jenner. Patrick Lane, Max Domi, and the rest of the Blue Jackets offense crashing the net on the odd man rush and creating open shots with great puck movement in the offensive zone while Zach Wernsky opens up the offense from the blue line. Both teams have been hot on offense lately. Los Angeles scored three goals or more in eight out of the last ten games. Columbus scored four goals or more in six out of the last ten games and they rank tenth in goals per game. Defense and goaltending have been terrible for the Jackets. The team ranks 31st in goals against per game and last shots against against per game. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.